Hi everyone, this is going to be a collective message, so we're going to see what advice Spirit has for us today. I will ask about love, I'll also be pulling some oracle cards. It might be short, it might be long, depending on what wants to come through. I do first want to share a, um, a message, sort of just intuitively, psychically, that I feel is the right time especially for some people to share so one thing we need to realize is the way of knowing our truth is to allow the voice of love and you can accept this truth now because you are the one with the love of the universe now when we're on our spiritual path it leads us towards spiritual sight and then we also re, re, relinquish the faith that maybe we lost. Faith in our perceptions of the world to see strength rather than weakness. Oneness rather than separation. A love rather than fear. So I really just wanted to share that and I think it's something that I'm going to share maybe regularly. But it was just coming through to share something of a similar message. And as I'm doing that, I feel I got the point across. So let's go with this deck. Hope everybody's well. Let me know what part of this resonated for you. Thank you to those of you that are making comments and also supporting your readings. Um, and thank you for those of you that are just always, you know, supporting the channel and engaging. Right. I don't know why I feel a bit stalled for something. Um, I feel like some of us might be called to listening to silence and I can definitely relate to this because I think I've had so much sometimes we just have a lot of noise around us and not only about who lives with us like our kids or our partner or um, our wife our husband or significant other or whoever we live with a roommate it can be external as well it can be you might live alone and you've always got the telly on. And so can you take two minutes out of your day just to sit in that silence, just to be with yourself? That's something that I wanted to say. There's something about the colour turquoise coming through. And something about the sea. There's the number 33. So this is getting a bit channeling. I always thought it was going to be tarot, but there seems to be channeling coming through. There's something else. There's something else. There's something about seeing things clearly. Or, or maybe this relates to the first message that I just wanted to share from my side. Have you got rose tinted glasses on? Are you walking around with like sunglasses when you don't need sunglasses? Like a filter, a darker filter on your lens. There's something about the desert. There's something that was coming through like the snow fairy then it's coming to, as I'm channeling further, maybe light orbs that you might see around you. Something about fireflies. Now I can either continue channeling or I can get into the tarot, but then I stop my channeling. 
was something about the colour yellow and I think that's why I picked the candle yellow. But well, that's just come through even though I'm not looking at the candle. Now I'm going to gaze at the fire and see what comes through. Something about not playing it small. And something about, I can totally relate to this, you know, when we're walking around, we sometimes just unintentionally make ourselves smaller and that could be your demeanour, your aura, your posture. Something about the I love man. So some of this might end up being some predictions that are coming through. Something about the I love man. But I'm not going to go into the predictions I've already got that I want to share with you. Something about the letter Y and V. Again, something about the flow, the sea waves, the flow of it. Uh, something about a, I forgot what they call them, I've got one. Do you know um, a sand timer? So you have it and it's got sand at the top and then the sand drops, I forgot the name of it. And then you can turn it over, something about one of those. These could be things you have, this could be something that you come across later. Or you just happen to see randomly. Something about on a pedestal, whether it's yourself or someone else. Maybe it's something you happen to say someone's on a pedestal, they think they're on a pedestal. Um, or you're going to be on a pedestal, maybe a promotion or something. The colour blue. Which means... I'm also getting the throat chakra coming in as I say that. <clears throat> Let's get into the tarot. Spirit can have guidance for this week, today, this week, whenever we find this, a message. Remember, my messages sometimes are not, you know, think of them, maybe play it. I'm someone who has something on play sometimes while I'm doing stuff and it'll get to the end. I'm like, what did I understand from that? Because I think I'm absorbing, I'm not absorbing and I really have to then ask myself. So um, it might be something you want to watch again. It might be something that speaks to you directly because everyone's in different spaces. risk take a plunge what are you going to lose that could be just having a chat with someone that could be asking for help it could be a new path you've been thinking about it could be a new love take a risk it's interesting we've got the sea here i've got turquoise i've got blue i've got the color yellow some of the colors in this Eight of Wands, the breakthrough. Maybe waiting on something for quite some time, that breakthrough is coming through. Maybe that's around communication you've been waiting on. Um, that's been taken quite some time. Yeah, maybe there's been a gap in something. It could even be a relationship. Uh, it's taken quite a bit of time. There might have been some stagnation. 
some of you, there could have been something around your health and you're going to have a breakthrough on that. So I wouldn't worry. When I see these together, we've got double fours as well. It's interesting. We've got the full at zero. We've got eight, four, four. And as I say, eight, four, four, it wasn't really what I was going to get to. I was just thinking zero, four, and then eight. Like there are even numbers and there are halves. Um, but if you see eight, four, four, there's a sign there. There's something about not lying to yourself. strength are we needing some inner strength somewhere I just want to check that the camera is still recording and that you can see the strength card it is strength is eight as well so eight and fours are very significant. This year, 2024, is a eight year. It is a very big, significant energy change as well. Nine of swords. Five of swords. A lot of mental energy. Remember what I said about two minutes, two minutes, just take two minutes, silence, sit with yourself. You don't have to meditate. You can lay on the couch, lay on the bed. You can sit, you can do anything you want. Just stare into the space, stare into the room or close your eyes. Two minutes of silence, but not when you're falling asleep. <laughs> I'll take eight hours of silence while I'm sleeping. Being awake. Some of us might be facing a lot of sleepless nights. Um, you're trying to move forward, but your mind might say, you don't feel well today, so you, nah, rest up today, stay on that couch. Your mind might be just on a constant chatter, and it's kind of like, I can't shut it up. to get out a little bit energize the body go for a walk i don't know why i'm getting bouncing castles as well now take that leap of faith in something you're passionate about to start a new journey the seeds you're going to plant will harvest they'll help you move away peacefully from a current situation or chapter that might not be serving you. But there is where your abundance lies. For those of you where this is tied to your health, coming back on top. Coming back, ruling your life in the best version you are. Your capabilities of getting your day-to-day -day stuff together running the show if you're working working earning that income where you're abundant mm -hmm. as well if this is to do with your day-to-day -day sort of organization of your work etc there's something about the energy you give out comes in even though you feel like it's taken it might have taken quite some time We've got the five of swords, we've got the six of swords, we've got the nine of swords. What's missing here is the seven. What I mentioned earlier, I was like, don't be lying to yourself. And the eight, the eight where you hold yourself back. And those mind games are there. But the six is like, I'm peacefully moving away. I'm choosing something that makes me feel abundant, even though I can't see the end result of it. Something of it feels so much better for me. It's 
So that's what I have for you. This is going to apply for the majority of people because you can place it wherever you want. You can place it in whatever area within your life. And I've just split the deck twice and I got the Ten of Pentacles and I got the Ten of Cups on both splits. I have the deck like that and I just went like that. Oh, there you go, Ten of Pentacles. And then I went another, but it probably won't be, no, it won't be a Sag. Um, it was the Ten of Cups, okay? So just imagine that from what I'm saying, where we're going or where you can be going. It's a very important message today. So what I'm going to do now is going to just check in on love. Remember, this can be a situation specific. These readings are timeless. I would flag it to revisit it. Maybe you revisit it in a couple of months. There's a couple of important messages. There might be the signs that you want to flag. I'm getting something about the 28th of January, by the way. I need to write that down or someone remind me. 28th of January, something about the 28th of January. And there's something about the 28th in your gallery, in your phone, on that date. So if you took a picture on the 28th of December, it's that one. If your last picture on the 28th is November, October, September, but you've had pictures after that are not on the date of the 28th, you need to check which one's the latest on the 28th. So check December, November, September, the 28th. It might be a screenshot. There's something about that. Let's get into love. We've got in something interesting. Again, we start off with the full new chapter. Is this a rekindling or is this trusting someone who's knocked the socks off, knocked your socks off? Is it trusting someone who wants to come in? Is it tr trusting someone who you feel is juggling a lot in their life right now and you're not sure how they can fit you in? Masculine and feminine doesn't matter. You feel like they've got everything in life going for them and you kind of like how can I or how can you squeeze in love. It's going to be a breakthrough of communication here and there's also some mental clarity but 100% there's communication coming from your person or from you for a ten of cups. There might have been a break in some time. But this break has caused an epiphany of, and if it's something new, it will be that this is for the longevity. We do have strong cancer. Um, okay, so I said cancer, but it wasn't the first I was going to say. We've got Aries. We do have... Um, Pisces now and and some people because uh, it's uh, Pisces yeah Pisces and then we've got Gemini Libra Aquarius very strong and we've got the earth elements as well Taurus Virgo Capricorn we've got Aries the key here is whatever your relationship stance is is to listen to your intuition. Don't listen to too many people. There is a change. There's a real change here. We've also got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius as majors as well. There's something about you or your person, and if you're single, about an awakening towards love. Maybe it's what you want. Maybe it's about your last relationship. Maybe it's about a break or someone that's coming in. There is someone or you could be really stalking a person or just checking up on them. For some of you, this communication is coming in via online. But there's been, a way, there's been an awakening. There's been an awakening on... 
needing to come forward, needing to move forward and not think that life, you know, I've just done without love for so long, I don't really need it. If you're in separation or there's been a break in communication, there's going to be that clarity. I feel a strong Libra here as well. A lot of nostalgia. If you're asking me if a person is missing you, yes, they are missing you. And they find you very nurturing, caring, and they believe that you also still have emotions for them. But one of the strengths that they like is that you're emotional, you know, you're emotionally open, aware, and you deliver. You're, you're not frightened to say, I miss you. You wear, you know, not necessarily you wear your heart on your sleeve, but you're open about your emotions. You're not in your head. Should I say this? Should I not? And ro reverse the roles if needed. You could be dealing with a soulmate energy that's coming in for you. But there's forward movement regardless on this. And even in the slightest, if it's forward movement from a heartbreak or grief you've felt in the past where you're like, I don't really want love anymore. That is changing for you. I'm going to keep the love short because I really don't know how long I went on with the collective message. That's what I have for you. And what I've mentioned can be placed at whatever stage you are in love because that's what the cards are telling me, which is really good. It's nice when it can be placed amongst different aspects. For those of you that are in a, a, in a partnership already, the person might be grieving something or you might be grieving something. But either way, you're trying to move forward, look at how you can balance things back. But if you feel like there's a break in communication or there's a shift in energy, I do want to let you know that your person, and you can reverse the roles, is holding on to you, even if they might have taken a step back for some reason. And that could be hidden from you. Because someone here is so in their head, and I feel it's the person that feels like, you know, you're, you're able to show your emotions more than them. And you can reverse the roles. Whether it's a new person coming in, whether it's someone you've just met, whether it's someone who's just going to land you in your DMs, whether it's separation, whether you're actually married or in this partnership. This could be in a future prediction. So it could be in the next coming days. I'm getting something about three, by the way. Three days, three weeks, three months. And don't forget to roll back to certain elements, like I made mention of a date for your camera roll. I mentioned some channeling throughout and signs and symbols and numbers. So um, this is timeless whenever you come to it. And it's something that I believe you might want to revert to. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you are enjoying these readings, it's always useful to know um, because although I'm channeling energy, it's different than channeling um subjects of you know passed away unalived um cases where there's hmm, whatever is going on energy channeling of people so i'm channeling things in general here and i think there's always a message coming through for us i don't even know if that just made sense but if you know what channeling is um, I think you'll understand what I mean. It seems like I'm blabbing on because there's something else that I need to share. But I think it's just the case of remember to take time out to be at peace. Just that two minutes. And actually, I'm going to hold you accountable to it. I'm going to do my two minutes today. Are you going to do your two minutes? And if you are, and you need to just drop me an emoji or let me know in the comments that you've done your two minutes. Not that you're going to, because it might be like me, I'm going to and then I get on a hamster wheel. But I am going to do my two minutes. And I hope you do take that two minutes as well. For those of you that even if you're in a cold country or climate, 
if you see the sun through the coldness, just turn yourself to it. There's something about turning your face to that light. You know, sometimes it can be snowing or it can be really cold, but you can see the sunlight through the clouds. Turn your face to it. If you're in London, not so much, but up north, you do tend to get that sometimes. And in London as well, although it can be quite cloudy and grey. And if you're in New York, it's probably similar. But there's parts of the US where it's a bit warmer. And if you're in New Zealand and Australia, we're well, beautiful. And if you're in the Middle East, you're in a lot warmer climate. And in Asia, wherever you are, wherever you're tuning in from, Take care, everyone. Stay blessed. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.